Okay, in this video, I'm going to continue on with my tutorials bringing us from electromagnetism to optics. This is video number 19 or video number 12 in the subsection of Maxwell's equations. Specifically, I'm going to discuss the boundary conditions on the magnetic field. The previous video to this, which is relevant, is number 18, where I discussed the boundary conditions on the electric field. So this one, this uh, video is going to be quite quick. So first of all, just to note that we're, we're going to be talking about magnetostatics. So, and what that the reason that's useful or that's important is because the electrodynamic equations of Maxwell's electrodynamic equations are simplified as a result. So the two equations we're going to be looking at are Gauss's law for magnetic fields, which can be rewritten as the closed surface integral of b dot dA is equal to zero. And we also have Ampere's law. And Ampere's law says that the uh, that the closed line integral of b dot dl is equal to mu zero times the i char or the charge enclosed. Right, that actually is the current enclosed. So what we want to do is apply the two of these in the exact same fashion as we did in uh, in video number eighteen. So let's think of a a surface through which the magnetic field is is penetrating this so we have the magnetic field up and the magnetic field down and it has two components it has a parallel component to the surface and a perpendicular component to the surface what we want to find out is what happens as uh, what happens to the magnetic field as it goes through so Gauss's law is going to give us the perpendicular component whereas Ampere's law is going to give us the parallel or tangential component so let's apply b dot dA. So if we, we notice that this is just a flux, so it's going to be the magnitude of the field up, perpendicular, minus the magnitude of the field down, perpendicular, or below, multiplied by the area. And that's going to be equal to zero. What that means is that the magnetic field perpendicular to the surface is continuous. So whereas with the electric field, it was the tangential component that was continuous, it is in actual fact for, for the magnetic field is the other way around. Next, in order to get the, the parallel component, we need to apply Ampere's law. So Ampere's law says the closed line integral of b dot dl is equal to mu zero i in close. Now in order to do this, we, we have to realize that we're, not, we're actually not dealing with a volume current, but we're, we're actually dealing with a uh, a surface current. So it's not I we use but rather K. So anyway if we just take let's say we take a line or a, let's say we take a, a, our line here say that's our line our line integral but once again we shrink down the sides so we shrink them down to nothing they won't contribute as a result in the limit. And what we'll get is that B parallel above we'll say up minus B parallel below say down like that okay multiplied by the length of the loop and that's going to be equal to mu zero times the length of the loop times the the surface current k okay so what we get now is we can cancel the L's of course and we find that the magnetic field ten, the tangential magnetic field is in actual fact discontinuous and it's discontinuous let's say there's down and there's up it's discontinuous by an amount mu zero times k. Whereas we found that the the perpendicular component is equal to the uh, the perpendicular component up is equal to the perpendicular component down. So they are the magnetostatic and in, and also the magnetodynamic uh, boundary conditions for uh, like I said the magnetic field. So thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends. Subscribe to my channel and you might also comment in the comment box below.